Biden and his family are vacationing in the U.S. Virgin Islands. With the new year comes new questions about his future. CBS's Christina Ruffini is traveling with the president in St. Croix. After several days soaking up the St. Croix sun, getting in a round of golf and sampling local cuisine, President Biden says he's feeling bullish on 2023. I've never been more optimistic about America in my whole career. We're the most unique country in the world. We're a product of, 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 of possibilities. But that positive outlook will be tested when he returns to Washington and a now divided Congress. With Republicans set to take over the House January 3rd, there is already uncertainty about who will lead them. Kevin doesn't have the votes. Minority leader Kevin McCarthy has been the presumed frontrunner, but some within the GOP are seeking alternatives. All we're really doing is empowering the other side uh, and not having a speaker. And whoever the speaker turns out to be will face another problem. New York Congressman-elect George Santos. I find it outrageous that a fundamentally fraudulent candidate like George Santos could lie to the public about his qualifications with impunity. This is a decision, whether he resigns or stays, that needs to be made between he and the voters who elected him. Santos now admits he fabricated large parts of his resume, including work experience and education, leading Democrats and even some Republicans to call for a House investigation. These are things that in any other job in the world you'd get fired. Unfortunately, we don't have that option in Congress. And of course, there's one more thing on President Biden's 2023 agenda, deciding if he's going to run for a second term. Former President Trump has already thrown his hat in the ring, but we haven't had an official announcement from Mr. Biden, at least not that he's told us. Christina Ruffini, CBS News, Frederickstead, St. Croix.